this is a great day, no exist. Because you know, sometimes dreaming is a good idea. You don't think you're going to dream, you just dream. And you dream about big things and then eventually you decide that it should be made. So I remember when we had NESC, then there was the dream of Vision 2030. And we said, it can be done. And then we came up with flagship projects. Lapset, SDR, Konza City, ICT Center, SEZ, and so on and so forth. And they are now coming into reality. You come here to Konza, and you've seen the state of the art ICT Center coming into reality here. This is a good thing that we should be proud of. It is possible, it is a proof that if we are determined, we are united, and we, we work together, it can be achieved. What's coming here? This is really going to take Kenya into another level, this center that we're putting up here. And we had at that time, talked and said, because the lobby is expanding too much and becoming so crowded, that we moved to Konza. And we are going to put up an international airport here, in Konza. So that like you have LaGuardia and, uh, and JFK. You've got uh, Gatwick and Heathrow. So we can also have another big international airport here at Konza. Then we went to Turkey now. Another big project. Irrigation, clean water supply, power generation. That is going to revolutionize the lives of people down there. That's again another part of that big dream, thinking dream, a big, uh, to push Kenya into a middle income status by the year 2030. It can be done, but it can only be done if we are, uh, are working together and we are consistent. Your Excellency, we know where we want to go. There's no reason why we want to reinvent the wheel. We know how, where we want to go. It's just determination and plans of how to get there. And I'm sure with these kind of programs we can get there. And uh, you will not only eat Mothokoi, Mutakula Pia Nzo. This is a season for Nzo. Nakubaliana na viongozi wenzangu. Mamba, zile tofauti kilo kidogo ni sibling rivalry. But the bigger picture, kwamba, eneo hili likuwa la kutsubiri kwa furaha tele. Ili inji ijue, we mwenye wali kuambia juzi, Jubilee 2, which is 27, 2017, uh, with the handshake of our brother here, has, has given you time to work. And Kenyans can see a very hard-working president. On a light note, you know Governor Mutua started as wiper. <laughs> He's actually a wiper member. <laughs> And uh, Governor Kibwana is a chairman of WIPA. <laughs> so, hile ya likuambia hakuna shida kidogo, hakuna shida. Nikulipa tuma lipo ya chamu. Ndugu <laughs> yetu. Hatuna, hatuna ubinafsi. Shida ilioko mwishmua rais ndiyo nikabilisho. Miona leo, kuunganisha tu, Wote, which is a county headquarters of Makwene County, with Kitui town, which is a county headquarters of Kitui, because that big project, Thwake Dam, will have five kilometers of tarmac and a natural bridge. Na hiyo mwenyewe na kushukuru kwa sababu umeshema, hiyo kazi ni maramoja. It's a new project, but you have the key. Similarly, I agree with Governor Kibwana, Ukia, um, of course that road, by the way, Ukia, uh, Emanuel Ukia Road. Even if it will be possible for him to go to Kitui town, 
na kwenda Loitokto and across to Tanzania. So it's a wonderful infrastructure piece and of course tuna kusubiri kwa hamu kwa tufungulie the iconic road between Kibwezi and Isiolo because that is also a very important project for this region. Open up the country, this is your country. You did these things when you are Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Finance. That is when you started uh, um, uh, talking down. And now Konza. Konza is the future capital of Kenya. It, the story started, Your Excellency, in my chapters. But because uh, there was not a lot of water, the Nairobi River, Wazungu, Wakamiya, Kule. And, and now I think you're going to have one big, where Konza becomes an extension of, of the city of Nairobi. The city of Nairobi is moving this way. And in fact, I was telling Governor Mutua, even Machakos town will become part of Konza, the way we are moving, provided this proper planning. Kwa hivu mwishmua rais, ni malizie kwa kusema sisi tukopomoja na wewe. Na wakenya wangalie kabisa. When I saw you opening five hospitals at night, five hospitals at night, actually that was in my 2007 manifesto. That's why I'm saying Governor Mutua is right back. That's where it started. And so, work as hard as you can. And as you do so, Kenyans are also watching. And the, the old say, mpatie mkenya jembe ajitaftie chakula. Usimulete wilbaru na, na goodies. Atakula leo na kesho ana chochote. I finally want to recognize uh, the presence with us of some of the very important uh, leaders in the region. We have uh, Archbishop Kitonga in the house. I don't know that Archbishop is here. Yeah, Zamani. We have Archbishop Timothy Dambuki. He's a chairman of NCCK, CCK. We have all the professionals, the many Professor Mulubi, who is going to be actually handing over. Seku will give birth to uh, the campus in Wote. Next visit to Excellence, I'm sure you give us that, where we will have, um, whether it is Makueni uh, College, I myself wanted to name it after President Uhuru, yeah, and, and he will constitute the College of Seku. That is a gentleman who is going to release it. And you will see when you go to Kitui the wonderful work some of these professionals have done. Thank you so much, Professor Mulubi and the team. And MCA's about Mefika Jameni Musumame, Yumonekane. Thank you so much. Of course, members of parliament, Mameni, you have been with the president everywhere. And, and so they have accompanied you. And, and all the leaders. In fact, time should really be on our side. Because I'm told, this is why my friend is jittery. Because Babu, if you don't get to 6 o'clock and you have not spoken, then uh, it becomes difficult. But Mushmua Rais, you have started this journey. Karibu sana nyumbani. By the time of the Fungu irrigation, you will see what you have done for this wonderful country. And, and we owe you a lot. Congratulations. Do not be tired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aya. Tumeelezwa hata hela zimetengwa tunaendelea vizuri na hata nilipata nafasi uh, wakati tulienda Korea uh, nikiwa nimetumwa na serikali yako uh, kwenda pia kutafuta pesa huko na tunajua kwamba this is a success so we are really uh, very grateful very quickly because of the one minute uh, we did uh, ask you about Hemali Ukia uh, road which is a very important one of the most important roads we asked you about the university, uh, Makweni uh, University College, uh, uh, and, and, and you remember we had talked about a regional bank, uh, a regional bank uh, for the three counties, and that's a matter we had discussed with you. Uh, and, and electricity, we are beat down. We are like one of the lowest uh, in in the country as a county, Makweni, at, uh, at 25, about 25 percent. Uh, there is the issue of where this area is at, but that is not something to be raised here, and it will be discussed so that there's clarification. So, thank you very much, and we really appreciate when you went to Machakos and you looked at what devolution can do. And I believe 
devolution will be one of also your legacies kwa sababu pesa zile za uh, devolution zinatoka national treasury zile za national government national treasury so uh, all these are uh, you know projects of your uh, government and we are uh, uh, grateful uh, karibu uh, tena makueni for the devolution conference hata tunaomba pesa kidogo ndio tuitengeneze hiyo iwe nzuri kabisa hiyo devolution conference thank you very much na jinsi umeona wewe mwenyewe ile siasa ilikuwa ndogo ndogo hakuna tuko tunaendelea vizuri na that is the spirit that we want because we want to focus on development not to focus on things that don't matter umekuja siku nzima kufanya kazi ya maendeleo and we want to encourage you so that you can continue doing this one request only for this Kwanza city look at all the counties in this country and see how you can pick a few young people so that they can learn these digitization processes that are going to take place here so that our own counties can also have something similar if not something like this Similarly, I have seen all the Mendeleo, Mefanya Twake, Machakos, you have really beaten us. But you try to do what you have done in Machakos. I would like to ask you, Mr. President, because I will never get to that level, may I request that you make Kitui your manufacturing agenda count so that we can have more young people who will be doing manufacturing of different things in Kitui we have started and I really think this is the only way. Everything that I've seen in this Konza city, most of the things that are going to be spent here, used here, will be coming from China, Korea and elsewhere. I think time has come for us as a country to start manufacturing more. We may not have the best quality to start with, but let us build the skills of our young people so that they can now start manufacturing and so that we can get them jobs that we can actually get for them because unemployment in this country is just a hit the roof. And this is why you're seeing young people being taken for a ride. What one waiter wana wakia kitukidogo hapa na pale na wana kama handouts is a way to live. I agree with the Governor Mutua that we need to have a 24-hour economy. Let us work long hours, day and night, and let, let us produce. Manufacturing, for me, is the way. Something like what we have happened, opened here today, Your Excellency, is the best I've seen in a country. Let us see how also we, in these three counties, can come together and make use of this facility for our own people. Asante sana. God bless you, Your Excellency. We thank you for the work that you've done. Uh, we've seen the work that you've done in Konza, Fuake. We're very happy. I thank you for coming to Machakos and opening the convention center, visiting us there and seeing the work that also Revolution can do. And Your Excellency, I'm very happy. We saw you working at night the other day, opening hospitals. And uh, we thought that's very good because uh, we need a 24-hour economy. I was telling people the other day that uh, Maybe after all this you can join me in a little chap chap because that's 24 hour economy. <laughs> but in the same spirit, Your Excellency, we are thinking that uh, if we can extend that for what's being done, you know, let's not just build our roads during the day. Let's do like they do in Dubai and China, build our roads day and night. Build our buildings day and night. Let government offices open late. The more, you know, we extend working hours, it means that uh, the economy will grow much faster, Your Excellency. My point number four, Your Excellency, is that uh, leadership is very important and you've shown good leadership. And leadership should be about doing things for people. You've talked about unity, Kibana has talked about unity, but it should be unity that comes together so that you can forge together to change the lives of our people. I work very well with my members of County Assembly, for example. I have the smartest, I think, in the country. They're very good people. And we work harmoniously, but only when interference comes from outside, that's when there's disunity. So we have to make sure that we remain united in everything we do so that we can spur development for the future. A lot of young people in this country are unemployed. A lot of mothers are looking for more money. The, culture, the COVID has added to many more problems in our country. For you for see what you did come with your gozi, to make a siasa kando, to Odumia Wanaichi, elections are very far, we'll be able to forge ahead and make Kenya a better place. Karibu Excellency.
Thank you, Governor, for your study. Within the next few weeks, we will be back here to groundbreak on the most modern science and technology university on the African continent. Furthermore, Konza will also attract housing for the over 30,000 residents who will be requiring at least 5,000 housing units. And I believe Konza will lead the way in modernizing our housing here in Kenya. This it will do by constructing high quality but affordable housing within a physical planning master plan that prioritizes social amenities, public transportation, and environmentally conscious urban living. So ladies and gentlemen, we must bear in mind that CONSA shall feature supporting infrastructure across all sectors, institutions of higher learning, schools, research and development facilities, incubation centers, data centers like the one we have just opened, light manufacturing and industry, retail establishments, hotels, convention centers, entertainment facilities, stadiums and cinemas amongst others. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, this Konza city is not just for the people of Makueni. This will service all the people of the Republic of Kenya. This will be the model on which the future of Kenya shall be built. So in conclusion, let me reiterate that the journey towards becoming an industrialized middle-income country is well on course, and we, I truly believe, are on the brink of great transformation. The challenge to each one of us is continue to doing our very best to bring Kenya's great destiny into reality. And this requires that we come together as one nation and one people, putting aside putting aside partisan interests and divides by building bridges between our communities and 